Cool, man. <laughs> what up, world? Welcome to another episode of RMT. That's Real Man Talk. It's your boy, Stan the Man, coming to you with another great conversation piece on today. And look, before we get started, I got a special guest on today, man. Mr. The Killer Crossover himself in person, man. Man, what's up, man? Welcome to the show. What's up with it, man? It's good to be part of this podcast, man. I appreciate it, man. I, I appreciate you coming on today, man. And um, I know you, man, but my audience don't know you. So, man, tell the people a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm the killer cross, a, a street baller from the little, from the 2000 era of Little Rock. You know what I'm saying? Played around local courts and stuff like that throughout the city or whatever. And um, just been doing my thing, still trying to keep the moving and stuff like that going or whatever. Straight out of Little Rock with it. Killer cross. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, look, um, I appreciate everyone for tuning in. And look, before we get into this, real quick, I need you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment down below, and also send this to someone that you think will help. All right. And uh, <laughs> I want this. This I, I know me and me and uh, me and old Killer Crossover man. We we talk a little bit about this from time to time, but it's just finding that support from the people that you love and you like so much. And so you you think this is gonna be from your friends, from your family, and you know just starting just starting this podcast and him on Instagram. We talk about our Instagram from the stats, and people don't want to like and all that. And one thing I told him, I said, "Look, man, you just gonna have to start reaching out to some strangers, bro." You remember we talked about <laughs> that? Well, you gonna oh, have to yeah, start yeah, reaching out to some strangers, man, and doing your thing because family and friends, yeah, they. People gonna see your stuff, but at the same time, man, you really gonna have to reach out to people that's got the same enthusiasm that you have about what you're doing. So, man, can you tell the people a little bit about your experience, like getting started, and you know, you looking for people to support you and not getting that support that you really wanted? Okay, okay. Well, uh, for me, I started, I started my Instagram page like in the. Like the end of 2017, I say, like 2017, I got back playing ball, started back recording and stuff like that. Right. So when I first started putting my stuff back out there or whatever, people weren't really catching on to what I was doing, which I wasn't really tripping at that time or whatever. But right. for the people that know me personally or whatever, it's kind of like that support. Like it, it wasn't there for, for what I was expecting because, you know what I'm saying? I'm coming from the city. A lot of people that play ball with me, they already know me. What I'm capable of doing back from back then all the way to now, whatever. So started my page like in 2017. Started giving my little following up because everything I did on that page is from ground up. Like every subscriber and follower, whatever you want to call it, they, they right. actually came on their own. It took time or whatever, but it came mm-hmm. on its own. So so once I get to this still, I start should start back recording my own self um, playing ball and stuff like that, put my content out. So yeah. when I started putting my content out, that's when I started noticing that the people that that I personally know, or some people that just know me throughout the city, I yeah. wasn't getting their support, but I was getting it from people that I don't know. So I, I started looking at it like, okay, since the people that don't know me support me, I, I think I just need to run with that, with that crowd over there a little bit just to kind of get some exposure because they expose mm-hmm. my content versus the people that, that know me. So it kind of right, happened. right. Kind of had little little roller coasters coming up and down or whatever, but um, it's it's just it's just something about it, man. I think it's sometimes I think it'd be the person that's doing it they don't want to support it, but if it's somebody else doing it, they'll support that versus the person that's doing it. So I think it's the person that's doing it where the right. support don't it don't it don't it don't grab or whatever, man. It's kind of it'd be making you want to quit doing it because it's like. Like if I had my own push, like from yeah. my own people, yeah, it'd, it'd be it'd be cool. But you know how it is. It'd be people that you don't know be the people that want to help you, but they yeah. don't want to help you on fall. They want to help you kind of elevate because they see they can relate to what you got going on. Whatever is if it's with podcasting, with content creating, food, yeah. music, whatever. 
Mm-hmm. But if it's somebody they know you, I don't know what it is about it. If you're like, but it's somebody they know you, right? And they know what you're doing, and they see the potential of what you're doing. It's like they don't want to help. You got a few people that will help. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but the people yeah. that you be wanna, you want your own crowd of people to help you. Yeah. Like, come on, let's get this movement going. And it, it's kind of tight, man. And um, well, salute to the me, people that do help. Let me ask help. you this, then. Let me ask you this. Um, <clears throat> Yes, right. <clears throat> Let me ask you this, man. Do you think that do you think that part of the why they don't want to support you is because they already know you and they know just say they done saw all your moves or they done saw you play or they done heard you talk and they like I done saw all this, so I already know you, so I really don't want to, and then I already <laughs> I already got access to you. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. always got access to you, so I don't really got to support you because I, I see you every day, or I see you every other day, or we talk. You know what I'm saying? Do you think it's because of that that people don't support, or do you think it might be some jealousy that's involved in it that they don't want to support it, and they see you able to do something on a consistent basis? Uh, That's a good question. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a two-way question. Okay. Go. Like when it comes when it comes to the people supporting it, it's like the, like you saying, is it because they know me already and they already see what I got going on? And but he's right. really trying to get a narrative going. Right. But I, I I feel that it's I feel back to like what I just said just a moment ago. I think it's the person that's doing it. Like I th- I think the way how I'm doing it, I got my own way of doing it, and I'm I'm trying to get everything in motion with it. Yeah. People people don't believe that. Like I'm, some people be thinking I'm just talking, but I, 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 I'm, I, I barely just run my, I run my mouth and talk and joke and stuff like that. But when I'm serious about something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ten toes in it. Right. I'm really gonna right. put, put the work in. I'm gonna put the time in, and I kind of can see that from what I'm doing. But it's just, um, some people be hating though. I ain't gonna lie, they be hating on me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They yeah. behave on because they because because the thing about it, I don't walk around with that ego like I'm I, I'm I'm this I'm that I'm the killer cross I cross everybody up and do all that. When yeah. it comes to basketball, see, it, it, it's just like another, it's just another, it's another personality. Like that ain't that don't define who I really am or whatever. But, right, right. But to social media, but to social media, I'm that I'm that person that's the killer cross. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. When people seeing me, so when people seeing me doing that, they be like. Do he really do that? Because the people that don't know me, they don't know if I really did that back in back in that time, or or as I'm still doing it now. So now what I do, I put out content that'll let people know, like, nah, I'm just not talking, and my name just ain't just ain't that, just because it sound cool when I actually got on the crossover and I actually can handle the ball. So, but yeah, the hate, the hate there is is there. It's always I can tell just by the analytics and the and the likes and the comments. Like some people comment on certain videos, but then when it's something that I notice, why they ain't comment on it? Why they don't want to comment? I, I can't make them comment, but it's just the right. fact that people don't use social media for oh, what word. it is. Like, if they see the like button, it's it's the like. If you don't like it, that means you really don't like it. Like that's what that's what make it bad. Like you, if if somebody look at your page and they don't like it, and they right. and they looking right at it, that means they really don't like it. Or they don't want to make a comment, but they'll think about what they want to put on there, but they still don't put a comment. Yeah. That mean, you got some it's some internal that you don't want to let out. You don't want you don't want you don't want my page or whatever, your page, whoever page, having all them comments on, but they'll go in there and talk negative if they want to. They put the negative stuff on there faster than anything. Some people do positive content, but I mean positive uh, comments, but they for sure gonna put their negative stuff on there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, now let me let me ask you this because you say you know it's a lot of people that's hating and and all that. <clears throat> let me ask you this, man, because this this my experience really, right? So yeah, my experience is kind of 50-50. Okay. And what I mean mm-hmm. by that is like I got people that's die hard that support it. Like I, I know, man, I got two of my homeboys that I, I went to school with. Man, I know I'm gonna have those two likes. You know, saying just regardless of what I post, I'm gonna have them two likes from them. You know what I'm saying? Like if don't nobody mm-hmm. else like it, if they see it, I'm gonna have those two likes. You know. Then on the yeah. other end, 
is like I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'd be like, man, some of this content, some of these other people putting out, like I'd be like, man, I know my stuff better. You know what I'm saying? It just Hey, you know, I ain't saying I'm all that, but I'm like, man, I just know my stuff better than theirs, man. I just know it is and how they getting what they getting or whatever, you know. But I had to come to the realization. Mm-hmm. I just said, you know what? I just got to continue to build my platform. And what be I, I say this. The crazy part to me is like, just say, just like you were saying, most of the people that you're following or most of the people that you're friends with on any social media platform, majority of them mm-hmm. know you growing up. Majority yep. of them know you, right? So just say, you know, even yep. if the algorithm only show 100, 100 people and 50 of them know you, they, instead of just even hitting the like button, they just keep going. Like sometimes, man, yep. I see your stuff. Uh, I see pig stuff come up. I see my homeboys I'm talking about. Sometimes I might like if it's like some music that he put out, I listen to it. But sometimes they yep. post stuff, I just like it and just keep going. I don't even, you yep. know, even if I don't just sit there, I just like it and keep going. I might come back to it. I just like it, keep going, like it, and it just keep going. You know, or even if I'm on the story, mm-hmm. I just like the story and keep going. Sometimes because I just I just think like this. If we cool and you my homie, if I like Drake. If I like Kendrick, if I if I see them and I just automatically like them, like it's just they don't it's even just know like you. that. <laughs> yeah. So what now? I said I said they don't even know you. And then they 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 are, they are like their support, like for the celebrities and stuff like that. But what I was about to say was, uh, if they oh, yeah. if they see them females on if they see them um the females on their page and scrolling up and down, they liking every picture. Then they liking every picture. <laughs> but soon as your stuff come up, it'd be a clean little video or somebody somebody motivational talking. They you scroll right up and see something. Right. Oh yeah, they liking that. Any, any, anything anything that anything that got a, a low vibration, they they are, they are draw right. to it. You know what I'm saying? But people. Right. Get, People can see the energy through the through the video. They can tell like uh-huh. they can tell their energy catch on it. But they want to see some low vibration. They will click that. They yeah. liking it. But soon they so it's for like they seeing something they don't need to be seeing. But then you come up talking mm-hmm. positive. I don't want to hear that wisdom. I don't want to hear that wisdom. They yeah. scroll up. You got you got people that they yeah. they pass by the wisdom. They don't want to yeah. hear wisdom. But if you was cussing and going back and forth with somebody, are oh, they liking yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's, that's crazy, the truth, man. man. And look, I I want to I want to fast forward and like you know, just I I want to pull off the net and off social media, and yeah. for the people out there, I, I want to pull in some some real life situation. If it is it ever a situation that you want to share, if you don't want to share, you don't have to. But is out of all the things that you've been to, been through, is it ever a time that you wanted somebody to support you, man? And they didn't come through, bro. And they did come through. Uh, I got a lot of them. <laughs> a lot of them. Baby. <laughs> let me let me get one, baby. man. Get one, get one yeah, to the people out there, baby. man. Uh, but the, the thing with me is, man, that um, I'm a strong believer in God, so I I always just pray about everything right. and just kind of put everything. You know what I'm saying? Cast all my cares on to him or whatever. Because sometimes right. that stuff is kind of yeah, yeah, mentally drain you. You can't do nothing about it. Some stuff, yeah. it could be the finance. Either your finance ain't like how it need to be. Then as soon as your money mm-hmm. do get right, something else come up. And then you got to mm-hmm. get pulled back down. But then when you sit back and think about it, you think about, oh, that's the reason why it's happening. Because I got to go through the motion. It's, it's yeah. sacrifice. It's like, 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 like my life pretty much based off some of like like personal wise, it's like sacrifices, man. Like if I was to really break down like sacrifices I done took, bro, you'd be like, Dang, you did that. Yeah, some stuff I, I I let go, bro, just to focus on what I need to really do. And I, I sacrifice a whole lot. I pretty much to sacrifice myself a lot of times for a lot of people and just for a situation. So I let right. go, go on a good fast, go on a good fast or whatever, and try to get away from stuff that is kind of bringing me back. And you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their problems, but I try to yeah try to stay try to stay my best away from them some the best way I can. But but once you start getting on the right track, you can start seeing how your life starting to change and you start going down a different path. And 
Yeah. The only person that can change your only person that can change your life is God. He the one going to walk that path with you. You be wondering why your path going like this. It's because your life changed. He changed it the way how he wanted to change it. Even though your life might change, but you still might have a couple of bumps. Even in the good road, the good road still got bumps in it. Exactly. But if you're in that bad road, well, if you're in that bad road, it just feel like you all just, you know what I'm saying, perfect and stuff like that. But my life based off them sacrifices, man. I didn't, I didn't took a lot of sacrifices and a lot of mm-hmm. situations I've been in, and I thank God for just helping me get through a lot of stuff or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, especially coming from, especially like from like drinking real bad to. Mm-hmm. Just hanging with the wrong people. So, mm-hmm. and, but I'm kind of glad I got away from that because it wasn't like all the people that still kind of caught up in their lifestyle. They they kind of, they ain't stuck, but they stuck mentally. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yep, mm-hmm. man. Ooh, man. I ain't I ain't know I ain't know you gonna come like that, her man. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> See, I ain't, hey. I ain't know you gonna see that, man. I ain't know you gonna come like that, man. You know. <laughs> But I, I ain't just the killer cross. I cross over in life too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I, I, I like that. Um, when when you say you know uh, sacrificing, and I I'll say this, man, because I I always get on here and I and I talk about you know several different things, but when it when it comes to sacrificing, I don't think people put enough importance on just sacrificing. Because when you sacrifice and you giving it up, I think God see the what you're doing and what you're giving up and how long you're giving it up and are you willing to just give it up, period, to get what you need to get. And the yeah. greatest part about it is like sometimes when you sacrifice, you might not get the thing that you want. That's the yep, crazy part much. about it. Like you can you can do all the you can be like, man, I'm sacrificing, man, I'm, I'm saving up, and I, I want this car, right? I want mm-hmm. this certain kind of car. I want this Benz, man. I've been saving up, been sacrificing my money to get this Benz, and everything can go wrong for you to get that Benz, bro. I'm talking about everything I fall through. You go to the dealership, who's selling you the car I ain't there. Uh, we got to clean the car mm-hmm. up. You know, this came. It'll be a lot of stuff come up, and they'd be like, "Well, you can. We got this car right here." And you'd be like, "Man, well, let me get that car." And that car yep. ended up last you 15, 20 years when you really didn't need that. So you made a sacrifice to get the bins, but God had another path for you, and so your sacrifice didn't go in vain. He just had something better in mind for you, and at that time mm-hmm. we can't see it. Because we so focused on getting that Benz. We're not yeah, focused on right. getting a good car. We focus on getting that Benz. And since he loves us so much, he takes that blinders off of block us from doing something to ourselves and make sure that we put ourselves in the right position that we are mm-hmm. able to um, enjoy the sacrifices that we did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, it showed me a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what what you about to say, bro? No, I said I said it mean a lot too to, to take them sacrifices because sometimes you can't see you can't see what's ahead, so you just be thinking like it ain't working out for me. But the whole time you still trying to you you doing everything you trying to you trying your best to do everything right. Not not even just for what you trying to get. You just trying to do right anyway. Like you were saying, he he knowing that you trying and he see that you trying. He know your heart, so it's like not nah, her. I'm really trying to. Get away from what he what he been doing in the past or whatever. So when he yep. get when I do get focused, and then next thing you know, I kind of forget about what I'm praying about because it's like I ain't worried. About, I'm I'm worried about it, but I'm not focused on. Oh Lord, why you ain't bless me yet? Yeah, no, nah, it ain't about that. It's about it's all yep. about the time and man. time yep. and like, like then sometimes I think we talked about it before at work, man. We was mm-hmm. saying I was saying something like. It was it was a point of time in my life I I know I went on the right track, but it's like everything good will come my way, and I was I was looking like that can't be God get blessing me like that because you know what I'm saying the enemy, enemy can trick you too and put right. you in a trick bag. And then you thinking it's good, but it's a trick bag because why 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 God want to bless you? You out here acting the fool, and then you you getting mm. somebody get you win ten thousand dollars or something hypothetically speaking, you win ten thousand dollars, but you out here. Acting a fool, but oh God bless me with ten thousand. But when you get that ten thousand, 
you got that you got that old spirit on you. you can't even spin it right because you because because it, it wasn't good it wasn't good for you so now you now you blowing it you're spinning it on stuff that ain't making sense and stuff like that but one thing one thing um that my mama always uh told me and stuff like that sometimes you gotta pray and ask god to help you with your money man like like when you get some money just ask god like lord just help me to, to work this money the way how you want me to work and i didn't did that a lot of times so, sometimes it'd be like someone would be telling me like i nah, don't spend that money don't do it i'd be like hey i want to get them shoes like don't do it and then it, it kind of come around then someone then someone something really do happen i'm like oh that's why i didn't because if i would have spent that money i would have been real messed up and i'm kind of glad that when i was young i didn't really i kind of was kind of naive to it i was like no, i'm mm -hmm. gonna spend my money then i'd be wondering car mess up on me now i ain't even got no money to fix my car because that same money that i blow it could have went to getting some fixed on my car but yeah you gotta always keep it in god's hand and i'm you know, sacrificing man for the people that don't that don't understand that you gotta start sacrificing and fasting that fast that fast will break a lot of stuff that's really what a fast is they break their yoke yeah that man break their yoke. yeah man that, hey that's good man because <clears throat> what you were saying, especially, you know, about that money. Ooh, wee. man, yeah. about that money, because man, if you ain't got that right, if you ain't got that right mindset, and you're not praying, because uh, I don't know the exact scripture, but it says a fool and his money will soon part ways, and you are <laughs> not lying. Quick, man. Yeah, yeah, you will be. Yeah, man, you get you get that money, man. You go to buy, you know. Buying some Jordans, you know, you get your bottle, go out hang with your friends, and you know your car smoking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you and you wonder why you why your car still smoking after you finish doing what you're doing. You can't still because yeah. you ain't taking that sacrifice. You gotta let go of that to get that going. Cause all this going it's gonna it's gonna play out in the long run. Then you sit back and you sitting on the couch watching the TV and be thinking like it. Hey, I'm glad I got all that done because it's like a domino effect. Sometimes the domino yep. effect go the other way in the bad way. It go everything start going bad. Do, 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 do. Sometimes go good. Do, 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 yep. the other way. Yeah, that's yes, that's sir. good, man. Woo wee, her man. I see, man. You gonna you gonna make me go longer than what I I I anticipated, man. Hey, you know what I'm hey, saying? Do your thing, do your thing, man. Do your thing. <laughs> Let it work. Let it work on you. Let it work on you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do For real, think. man. Listen. And look, man, yeah. I wanna um I want I want to do something new, man. Cause um because oh. I'm start bringing a, a lot of different guys on here. Hold on, hold on. I want to do something new, man. And I'm introducing this with you, man. So I yeah. want to introduce to the people, man. We got this little segment we're gonna call the man cave. So we finna go into the okay. man cave, and since I'm you know we got right now, a crossover over here, man, we got to talk about basketball, man. Me, I'm more of a football guy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But today, since we got the special guest, man, the basketball connoisseur, I'm gonna have to get him out there, man. See if they crossover really yeah. a crossover, you know? <laughs> okay, man. So, so check this out. We since we got. The killer crossover on here, right? And you know, I'm, I, I like football. Don't get me wrong, I like football. But since we got him on here, we got to talk about basketball. We got to, we got to. So we got the the NBA playoffs jumping off right now, and so I want to know who you got coming out the West. I want your West pick? Then I want to know who yeah. you got coming out the East. Then I want to know who you got winning it all, man. Okay, okay. For the West, I'm gonna have to say the Timberwolves because they they've been doing their thing, and Anthony Edwards he's been kind of pulling their weight. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like last year, he didn't get to pair that spotlight on him because Morant was kind of you know what I'm saying the face of the league at that time or whatever. Mm -hmm. But he he Edwards was still doing his thing back then but now he kind of everybody kind of focused on him because you ain't got Morant in the way or whatever no no yeah. disrespect to him or nothing like that but he not he not in the he not in the playoffs or whatever so everybody focused on somebody moving kind of flashy he, he got a layup package he got it all then his teammates helping him out yeah. they doing anything on the outside they knocking down the threes going to the foul line or whatever like that so mm -hmm. 
I want them to pull that man and for the um for the East. Like I ain't no Boston fan, but and then I ain't no um no Cleveland fan for right now. This was going on, so yeah, it's kind of so, late. Don't boy, don't don't boy. They it's like two Rams over there because they yeah because because Boston already been there twice and they already done blow it. Like they every time they get right there, they did that there last year and they got there year before and they they just they tackle out in them in them um. The semi conference did when they went to the finals. They they didn't make it in the finals. So yeah, it's, yep. it, it's I, I hope Boston do pull through because they behave, they have been putting the work in. They is a playoff team and a seasonal team. So right, they right there be a good matchup. They right there, Timberwolves versus Boston in the finals. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Yeah. So you you got Boston coming out the East. You got the Timber Timberwolves coming out the West. Now, yeah. okay, okay. So me, let me say this: over there in the East, man, with Cleveland, Boston, I'm gonna say this: if Boston don't sweep Cleveland, Cleveland gonna go, man. Mm-hmm. Boston don't need to go to no. Me personally, Boston don't need to go to a game seven with Cleveland. They don't need to go to a game seven. Games. I, I think if it. you go to a game seven with them boys, they got enough scrappers on there that they can pull out a game seven on. You know, mm-hmm. so I, I think that if Boston and Cleveland meet up, I think that Boston needs to go ahead and take them boys on now. If it's not a 4-0, it needs to be a 5-1. They don't need to give them no hope because I think if they give them some hope, it's gonna be Cleveland mm-hmm. gonna be coming out the east with a nah, with a surprise. Now with the yeah, West, got- man, it's hard not to pick the Timberwolves. It's hard not to pick the Timberwolves, man. It's mm-hmm. hard not to pick them, man. Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony uh, Towns, I think his last name. Man, them them boys playing lights out. They playing mm-hmm. lights out. They sharing the ball, passing the ball. Uh, coach got a good rotation going. Hey, I said the Timberwolves out the West. I get Boston. I say Boston out the East if they um sweep Cleveland or they got to beat them five one. That's 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 my pick, man. That's what I'm looking like. Oh, so. yeah. But yeah, man. So yeah, but good. okay. So outside of outside of that, and I want I want to ask you this. Who you think got the best crossover? I'm talking about you can you can go you can go out there for, with street ball or you can go so pick one from each. So one from the NBA <laughs> and one from the street ball. Which one got the best crossover? Who who you think got the best crossover? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Because it's a handful of people that got it. What make it crazy? I just put a video on my page. Talk about who had the best handles back in that time or whatever. But right. back to your question. That's uh, right. <laughs> yeah, back, yeah, back, back, back to that question, man. Yeah, I gotta say me. No, nah, I'm joking. <laughs> no, nah, but um, <laughs> no, nah, but um, that's a good one, man. It's a, it's a lot of people that, ooh, like crossover wise, like actually crossing over, like. Just crossing over, not not just flat out handles. I'm talking about just and yeah, yeah. I, I know exactly. Yeah, like crossover, like even though even though Allen Iverson is is one of those ones that I saw crossing over. I'm at, I'm at, for NBA wise, like for the era I grew up in, and to like still to this day, I still ain't saw nobody cross somebody actually over like AI. AI actually he sized you up and then he. He cross you over like this across it a move and handle that's 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 everybody can do that, but actually a crossover where you cross your defender over and he's still in the same spot, he's playing DN. Yeah, for the NBA, I give it to uh, Allen Iverson, but for the streets, that's a hard one, man. It's it, it's a whole lot of people that get they got them handles and got them crossovers, but well give like, me when it come okay, like, I ain't gonna say the best. Give me your favorite then on that side. Uh, Okay, for the streets, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like a, like a pick five on, on. Okay. 
Okay. okay. The, now the these pick five time. is is not in no particular order, right? You just picking five. Not in no order. Nope. Okay. No order. Okay. Okay. Just, okay. Just, I'm at um AO from N one. Okay. He got a, he got a nice handle. He got a nice handle. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to give it the hot sauce. He got a nice handle. Yeah. Or whatever like yeah. That. It's, it's a guy from uh, New York. His name is Cross Country. He's nice with it too. He got a nice handle. Okay. Um, the Bone Collector. Yeah. Uh, who is some? It's some more people, man. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna I'm throw my know. boy in there too. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw my boy. I'm gonna throw two. I'm gonna throw, really, really, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be two people, but I'm gonna put them together. Then I'm gonna add another. Okay. Shout out to my boy. Uh, Zobi one, he got a nice handle. Unprotected uh-huh. hoops, Craig from um from Unprotected Hoops, he got a nice handle too. And um, I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna say um, uh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. From New York. <laughs> yep, from New York. Hey, that's a cool little name. I'll be right back. Yep, but- but but the, but the guys I named they from they from like the two thousand era of street ball you know what I'm saying some gotcha. of from from the west coast some of from uh, from New York and then one of them from North Carolina. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm and surprised me. you, man. But I'm gonna say I like AI. Don't get me wrong, and yeah. this might be aging myself a little bit. But man, I think Tim Hardaway. Had one of the hard crossovers, you know what I'm saying? No. That's just me. I might be aging yeah. myself a little bit. Tim Hardaway to me had one of the coldest crossover, man. Him, he he had one of the coldest, but yeah, him, he kinda... Damian Stoudemire and um and AI, those those would be. You know my three with the with the coldest crossovers t- to me because I I don't know a whole mm-hmm. lot of I know uh, hot sauce and ao that's probably the only yeah. two that you name on on that side that I know but I know hot sauce mm-hmm. for sure got a deadly crossover yeah, you know mm-hmm. yeah so them 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 my picks man so okay so man we finna get ready to round it out and I'm gonna ask you this young man that's in his twenties out here. What's one piece of advice that you'll get that young man that he could take with him and that he can apply today, right now, after he get through listening to this? What's something that you'll tell a younger version of you, man? Give him one piece of information, man, to take with him. Well, just give him some information to take with him, man. Drop some on him. Well, the first thing I tell him, he... I uh, just um, get a relationship with God, you know what I'm saying, so He can guide you through the processes in life or whatever. And then, besides that, man, just just stay focused and try to just focus on what you're really trying to do and put your all in. Cause ain't nobody gonna get, ain't no handout. So people, people, people want a handout, but but for the for y'all young guys, do not please, do not be a follower, man. Don't don't be a follower. Y'all want to end up in, in jail. Or end up on drugs or something because you want to follow behind the crowd of people or whether I find your purpose because everybody got a talent, everybody got a skill. And hey, it's hey, once you tap into it and once you see what you're doing, because everybody skill sets different, everybody talent is different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, once once you find what you're trying to do, stick to it, keep on pushing. This despite what people are saying and how they treat you, whatever, when they see you trying to get on the right track. Just stay focused on it because it's going to always unfold and you're going to see the outcome in the long run. Yeah. And, for the young, and, stay, and stay safe this summer, too. Oh, yeah. That's what's up, man. Listen, hey, I appreciate y'all for tuning in to another episode of uh, RMT. Man, shout out to my boy, the killer crossover will come through and blessing the game. Also, man, look, before we go, Man, get the people your social so they can holler at you after this, man. Yeah, my social is on um, the Killer Cross at Instagram. It's at Instagram, just the Killer Cross. Killer Crossover <laughs> Instagram at the Killer Crossover on Instagram. Follow, like, subscribe. You got a, you got a subscription going yet on there? 
No, I ain't got a subscription. Okay, on, okay. Um, so follow oh, no. and like, man. Check out check out the videos, man. If, if you into just some dope content on the um streetball era, man, go over there, holler, um, holler at my boy the killer crossover. Holler at me. Listen, I got I got two. I got real man talk podcast. You can catch that. Facebook, Instagram, mm-hmm. TikTok, and me, Stanley Nash Jr. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, man. Like, comment on there, and let me know if there's anyone you want to see on here or any um, subjects that you want me to talk about on here. Just let me know. But to the end, man, I appreciate y'all. Peace. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah.